Hey folks, Jim Bernagovich here with All Points Design. That's allpointsdesign.ca. Today we're talking about the Oregon State University Permaculture Template. We're talking about the Permaculture Design Certificate in particular and taking a look at the site water flow analysis, specifically the extra credit water flow. So when you're looking at the extra credit, we're taking a look at the entire potential area that drains onto this site. Now, if you've been following along the templates and the tutorials, you'll see that this is something I'd already done right at the beginning. Uh, I tend to do this anyways when I'm taking a look at site assessment because this becomes the total potential volume that we're going to be able to work with. And we're basically doing the exact same calculations as we did before. We're just taking the total area, average yearly rainfall or max 24 hour, and then working our either imperial or metric calculations to get the total leaderage. So for this site, there's about half a million liters that falls onto the site. And this is a great example uh, from Z Lee taking a look that uh, that's the area of the site itself, but this is actually the area that could potentially affect the site. Uh, again, this is uh, really easy with Google Earth Pro. All you have to do is go into Google Earth Pro and then take the entire area. So that was what we're looking at right now is the area that I had already laid out. I then traced the entire entirety of that area pretty accurately. And then that gave me my 1233 meters squared. So that's an easy way to do it. Uh, if you're working in maps, you'll have to calculate uh, directly using the scale, but we're using Google Earth Pro is a pretty easy way of doing it. Thanks so much, folks. We'll see you in the next tutorial.